This video demonstrates how to use an RShiny app in Terra. First thing I want to do is create a cloud environment to run RStudio. So I go to this widget here and click Customize to select a different environment than what is offered by default. I use this menu to select Terra's built-in RStudio environment and I'm also going to bump up the CPU count to 2. Then I click Create. It can take a couple of minutes for the system to put together all the resources behind the scenes the first time you create your environment. But here I'm cutting to the point where the new environment is ready. I click the launch button and after a few moments the RStudio interface comes up. The Shiny app I want to run is distributed as code in GitHub. So I go to the file menu, choose new project, version control, then git, and then here I paste the GitHub repository URL. I fill in the rest of the dialog using the information specified in the workspace dashboard, which I've got open in a secondary browser window for reference. So I click create project and there you go. Now the project is set up based on the source code in GitHub. Now this particular project has a few dependencies that aren't part of the default RStudio environment, so we have to install them. Once again, I'm going to cheat and copy-paste the relevant commands from the dashboard. And I cut out about 15 minutes worth of installation log messages to keep the video short. Installing project-specific dependencies works the same way as doing it locally. So you have to install them the first time, but you won't have to do it again as long as you don't delete your persistent disk. When that's all done, I go over to the Files panel, click into the project directory, and navigate to find the app.r file. When I click on that, the file opens up in the top panel, and that's where we find the Run App button. I click it and wait a few moments for it to start up. Then my pop-up blocker gets a bit overzealous, but if I hit try again, it goes through. And there's the app, opening in a new window. This is a very simple but useful app developed by the Manning Lab to visualize whole genome association data. The app is set up to load in some example data by default, but you can substitute your own data. Just specify the path to where it lives in Google Storage in the bucket field. You can tweak the parameters, for example, if you want to zoom in a bit to figure out what's happening around this locus of interest. So I can change the genomic coordinates here. Then I need to hit this button down here to refresh the plot. Now this is fairly basic functionality. Uh, in general, different Shiny apps have different levels and modalities of interactivity, depending on the needs and preferences of the people who develop them. And finally, once you're done, you can close the app simply by closing the browser window. And that's all there is to it. For links to the resources I used in this video, see the blog post linked in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Terra channel and blog to get notified when we post new content. Enjoy!